Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollowtide here. This is my second time recording this video because my microphone wasn't being picked up on OBS and I didn't double check and now I feel like an idiot because I was talking to myself, which I'm already doing, but it just seems more weird when it's not working. Anyways, today is like probably one of the most significant updates to Halo Infinite since the game came out and it kind of stinks because it's, you know, 2024 and it took this long, but I think we all know why. So it is what it is, we don't have to talk about that, but basically what I want to do is do a quick video on what the changes were, if it's worth you playing, if it's worth you picking up like the Commando now, how the networking feels, things like that. That being said, if you do enjoy Halo content and you want somebody who's not going to BS you, we're trying to get the 15k, 15,000k, why does that sound so weird when I say it? like, we're trying to get the 15,000 subscribers this year, so I would greatly appreciate it. Anyways, we're going to go over the new features. The overhauled network model, aka this is the Halo 5 networking model. Basically, this is supposed to get rid of desync. And I've played a couple matches and a couple different playlists. Personally, I haven't had that many issues with like desync in the past. I don't know what causes it. I've heard people have like different sets of armor on and it'll like increase the chances of desync happening. I don't know how true that is. What I can say is that it feels completely different. I feel like I die faster. I feel like my bullets register more. Doesn't really feel like I'm taking damage around corners as much. So all in all, I think this is a good change. I think that it should improve the player experience. So if the networking model before turns you off to Halo Infinite, I think it's worth you trying out now. Also along with that, Easy Anti-Cheat came out and I'm sure all of you are like, oh no, Easy Anti-Cheat, they just got hacked by Apex Legends and blah, 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 blah. And apparently it's not an issue with Easy Anti-Cheat. I know some people have had issues where they start up and it won't work. I don't know if that's a known issue, but I would probably follow the Halo support Twitter channel X thing just to make sure. Now I don't cheat, so I don't really know how to tell you if this is working or not i don't play ranked and i feel like that's where most people run in the cheaters anyways but i might have to hop in the rank now and see if there is a huge difference because before it just felt like there was a lot of suspicious stuff happening all in all more anti-cheat is probably better they made some csr changes with ranked as well once you hit like 1800 you will earn seven csr for every win and lose seven for every loss so it basically just means winning is the most important thing i guess there was some firefight custom game mode stuff where it basically gets rid of king of the hill and uh that game logic so now you can just have like regular firefight so that's very cool New HCS weapon bundles came out. I am not going to tell you how to spend your money or what to spend your money on. If you like it, that's cool to me. If you don't like it, that's cool to me. Next up, we're going to go over some balance changes really quick. And this is where I have probably most of my feedback. The gravity hammer. They said that there was a bug that affected the gravity hammer's damage and knockback values, but it has been resolved. Its new damage and knockback values will remain higher than they were in preseason 5 updates. This is where, I don't know if this is a hot take, but I feel like the hammer is trash now when I use it, and I'm like, I don't know. I, I won't lie, I feel like I never really died the hammers, you know, personally, but I definitely killed people. And now it feels like I'm like right next to somebody and they're just laughing at me, so I don't know if I love it. The bandit... Both the Evo and the regular Bandit got increased reload speed, so that's cool. The Commando Rifle got a buff where the Bloom now resets slightly faster. I will say that this is not the biggest, like, it, it does not make the Commando, like, a go-to weapon. It's definitely better, but it's still, you know, it's, it's very much outclassed by other weapons, but I definitely felt like I was more proficient with it when I was playing with it in games. For the heat wave, it says to reduce its long range viability. The aim assist has been decreased. I play on mouse and keyboard and I don't really feel that. So let me know in the comments down below if you think the heat wave is poopy now. Another one that I feel like has changed a lot, even though it doesn't really seem like it's that big of a change was the stalker rifle. It now takes longer to vent, AKA like, you know, reload i guess once it's overheated and will require less shots before so it's like one shot less and i'm not gonna lie i definitely feel like that has changed how good the stalker rifle is that thing was um, i love it and i still do but it definitely was hit a little bit the plasma pistol also got a couple changes its rate of fire was decreased it overheats faster and now requires less time to fully charge up i didn't really notice any tracking changes or anything like that i think it's still kind of kind of poopy i won't lie 
They also said that they improved the stability for both Xbox and PC. A couple other changes with the gameplay and stuff like that. I will leave a link to the Halo Waypoint article where you guys can go read everything at the bottom because there's like changes with like the Banshee Bomb and stuff with this uh, networking update. It does seem like they put a lot of effort into getting this update out and to make sure that it was like substantial enough. I think that if enough people, you know, re-download the game and play it, they will see a huge change and see like all the new content and stuff that's been added to the game, including those new maps. Uh, Squad Battle is fantastic right now. I feel like some of the maps though are like the wrong version. I've seen some people complain about that, so eh. So that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. It would make me feel really better because I'm sick. In fact, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, comment down below, hollow sick, or something like that. I don't know. I love you guys. Peace!